What's up everyone? It's a much later start for us today compared to yesterday when we visited the Acropolis here in Athens. Thank goodness for that and today we're going to check out a couple of the other spots that were on our combo ticket as well as some new ones as well. So it's going to be a nice we're more relaxed pace today. <laughs> but first up though, we need to find ourselves some food. Let's get going. Now we've stumbled upon a small store called Kokona and we've just been talking to the lovely owner, Joanna, who's been telling us that the cooking technique here is something that's been passed down from her grandmother to her mother and now to herself. I'm super excited to get into this. We've gotten two gozlemes and I have gotten the beef version here. One thing that I've been super addicted to as soon as I arrived here in Greece is the yogurt. I've had so much and Yen knows this is the cause of how I can put on a lot of weight, but I've been I've been trying to manage it somehow. It eats like a tub. <laughs> yeah, I've already gone through two tubs. It's only been a couple of days. And when I'm talking tub, I'm talking the big tubs here. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the gozleme, let's dip in some of this yogurt. We can see the cheese oozing out as well as some of the beef. Oh man, salivating here. Oh, oh that is, that is so ridiculously good. Mm. The beef has such a lovely saltiness to it. Mm. And you can really taste the cured flavors in it. But the yogurt, man. <laughs> the yogurt is crazy. It's so creamy and then you add in some of the cheese as well. It's like creamy overload. That is delicious and what a way to start the day off. Oh, I'm happy. Glad I'm really happy. This spot. <laughs> mm. And for my one, I've got the spinach and feta and we were watching Joanna when she was hand stretching the dough and then doing all this magic to it before she put it onto the um, heating pan element and it looked amazing. Let's have a try. This one is supposed to be the classic flavors. Mm. <laughs> That's delicious. I see what Peter means about like the creaminess having that yogurt. But it's so fantastic because it's so nice and hot and the dough is chewy and perfect and it goes so nice with all that spinach. Yum. Mm. Definitely a good start to the day. that fantastic meal we're now making our way through the National Garden of Athens and as we were coming through we heard that there were some turtles so we were like oh yeah let's check that out <laughs> but we also saw some koi right at the start as well as some green birds they looked like parrots they were just munching away on the mulberries and uh, yeah it's a nice way to get away from the hustle and bustle of the main areas of Athens because those are super crowded but in here it's really peaceful yes it is let's go try find those turtles yeah managed to find the turtles yes. but we didn't expect to see them all in the small pond and so many of them there as well so many right <laughs> yeah but we're gonna make our way through because uh, we really want to see the uh, olympic stadium yeah but this garden it's really big yeah, it lots is massive. of other ponds as well and places to rest nice yeah. good shade everywhere too i think the stadium is this way okay let's go <laughs> Yen is attempting to catch one of these falling purple petals. Yeah, I'm just waiting for one to drop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is not just for the camera. Yen... I actually caught it, but Peter wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took you ages. I'm not going to have it on you it for like five minutes. Yeah. 
was about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fast. <laughs> Just a little bit on from those purple trees, we've got the Zappian Hall. It was constructed in the 19th century for the modern Olympic Games. Also would have been known back then as the Zappian Olympic Games. Well, isn't this a sight? We have now seen the Olympic Stadium and it is free to look at it from outside but if you want to go inside you need to purchase some tickets and unfortunately these ones aren't included in our Acropolis combo ticket price but you do have to get them separately and they are 10 euros each. It looks really cool. It does. Look at that. It's the Olympic Stadium. The first modern Olympic Stadium. <laughs> How impressive is this stadium, eh? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's the pan Athenaic Stadium. And it was where the first modern Olympic Games took place all the way back in 1896. It also hosted the 2004 Olympic Games. But another really cool fact, though, is that it's the only stadium in the entire world that is made fully from marble. Wow. Yeah. It was originally built back in 330 BC on the site of a race course. And that's when it used to be the pan Athenaic Games, which was a religious and athletic festival which celebrated the goddess Athena every four years in her honor. Pretend you're an Olympic sprinter and then run towards me. Oh my goodness. Okay, if it's just these like five meters, sure. Ready? Yeah, yeah, good stance. Mm -hmm. Set. Go! Oh, that's slow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your best celebration pose? <laughs> This stadium has had a very long history and its original design didn't used to be this horseshoe shape. It used to actually be a rectangular shape, but then it was under Emperor Hadrian's rule around the second century AD that it gained this design instead that has that familiar U-shaped bend that you see here. The capacity is about 50,000 seats and every year it still holds the Athens Marathon and it's the finishing line. So that must be pretty amazing for the athletes to come here yeah, after I think a so. long hard marathon. So much bigger than I expected it. I know, right? So we've made our way over from the Olympic Stadium and only five minutes away is the Temple of Zeus. Now this beauty right behind me over there, you have to use your imagination a little bit because there used to be 104 of these 15 meter tall columns. So imagine yeah. that, like look how gigantic that is. <laughs> so all that's remaining is I think maybe how 15 many? 15 of them, of them left, including Plus one that's fallen one just over there. there. Yeah. Yeah, so entry price to this place was actually included in our Acropolis uh, package. Tickets, yeah. yeah, but if you want to come here separately, it costs eight euro for the entrance in here. We read that this temple actually took almost seven centuries to complete, which yeah. is actually crazy if you think about Pretty it. Pretty mind boggling. Yeah, and uh, a series of wars as well as conquests, as well as earthquakes has left it in the condition that it's in right now. If you look over this side, you can also see Hadrian's Arch just sitting over there, right underneath the Acropolis. Yeah, we actually saw uh, this Temple of Zeus from the Acropolis the other day. Yeah, when we were looking down and we were like, hey, we should go there. Yeah, there's still a lot of scaffolding on here, very much like the Parthenon. I guess that's because they're doing some restoration work on it. Maybe like in another hundred years time, <laughs> it will look even better than it does now. <laughs> That used to be made entirely of marbles. Yeah, just got to use our imaginations. Oh, 
site that we're visiting today is the Acropolis Museum and the entrance for this place is 15 euros. We originally thought that it was included in our Acropolis combo ticket but it wasn't. So Unfortunately that's not. That's yeah, okay. so that's something good to know. Um, we wanted to come here because we wanted to see some of the treasures that were taken out from the Acropolis and preserved here. Yes, yeah, like the karyatids. Yes, you yeah, really wanted to yeah. see the karyatids but you also get a fantastic view of the Acropolis from here too. It is a very beautiful museum. Yeah. I really like this museum, especially here in the Parthenon Gallery, where you can see how it's been even kind of laid out, like what it would have looked like up in the Parthenon with the metopes and the frieze going all around. And you get to really appreciate the artwork that would have been there up close, even if some of these are reconstructions. But the favorite floor of mine is definitely the one that has the karyatids or the maidens because you can walk right up around them you can see how they have different hairstyles and facial features and it's because when you're up at the Acropolis you don't really get to see the temple of Erexion all that close so it's hard to appreciate how they look you know as close as you can see them here which is just super amazing it's even got that one missing spot for the final sister to be returned from the british museum if that ever happens but yeah it's just incredible beautiful beautiful museum Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we think we're going to wrap things up from the museum right here. It's been a fun couple of days here in Athens. Yeah, and sure one has. thing, and one thing I do want to mention is that it's everything is relatively easy walking distance from each other. Only maybe 20 or 40 minutes at the Fedoris. Yeah. Even the Acropolis, and it's just super cool that there's so much near each other to be able to see. We haven't even needed to catch public transport or anything. Yeah. It's been super convenient. Hope you guys have all enjoyed the vlogs. We're going to be continuing our journey over to Katlanpaka next. Yeah, so if you did like this vlog, found it useful and interesting, please do give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave us a comment. Love to hear from you. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Whoa, look inside that well over there. So many coins. Like a pot of gold.